ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Paige Campbell Show, episode 44. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. I like the enthusiasm. Yeah. Ow, ow. We got a star-studded panel here today. Obviously, Paige Campbell. Me. We're here with Noah Clark. <laughs> hey. Yes. And, of course, Nick Piccinino. Glad to be back. Yeah, it's great to have you. What was your last appearance? I don't even know. It's been a long while. Yeah. That's, uh, that's all I can say. It's the, I feel glad like it's, to be back. it's the return of the king here. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Yeah. And we're in your we're in your party pad here. Return yep. of the Jedi. We're in Casa de la Piccinino. Yeah. Mountain View, Harrisonburg, Virginia. Yeah. Come through. Yeah, come sweet, through. Sweet pad. Yeah. Yeah, come visit Nick. Come through the bro pad. Yeah, it is a bro pad. Always good for a bro down here. Nick's pad. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get into it. What's been going on? I haven't seen you since we were in the maternity ward. <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's been happening with my boys? It's been a while. Not much. Um, just got back from the beach. Yeah, I actually just got back from the beach, too. Nick, were you at the beach? Nah, no. I, not, I didn't go on a vacation this summer, and I won't go on vacation. Oh, do you Bummer. have a... Are you getting on your soapbox there? Do you have a platform against Summer vacation? Bummer. Nah, just too fucking poor. Ah, gotcha. It happens. I just sometimes I don't like vacation because I don't like to let my guard down. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like <laughs> people are in uh like all the uh, Olympic athletes are in Rio right, right now. Rio's a dangerous little place. That's true. I'll tell you what, beautiful, but you know you get your land. You land on the beach. You got the sand between your toes. That's right. That's when you get mugged. You can get striked. Yep. That's when you get stricken. Yeah, baby. What did you do at the beach here, Noah? Um, what did I do at the beach? Yeah. Um, I said here. Yeah. Well, funny, funny story. The beach was closed <laughs> because How is the beach well, closed. Well, so um, we were in Myrtle Beach. Um, okay. We have family down there, so we we were mainly there to visit family. But you're not going to not go to the beach yeah. if you're at beach you know what i'm saying right but they closed it because but you were you were staying with your rich uncle right he, right exactly that's cool <laughs> who just bought a new house and uh any chance nice he wants to uh invest in a podcast probably not no probably zero chance well, to be okay. honest all right well but uh if this thing takes off it could be a million dollar investment that's true it could be could get some get some returns on this thing could anyways there was like <laughs> there was a big like <laughs> jellyfish infestation on the shore so um that's nice they were strongly discouraging swimming in the ocean yeah, now let me ask you this you've been stung by a jellyfish right not once you haven't mm-hmm. um my brother has but i haven't i have you have yeah yeah um let me ask you this i have as well it's never an active sting right though you just right you just yeah, get out there's like a dead one that still had its stinger like so oh. still and it washed up on me okay Boy, did I feel bad. <laughs> but that's what's weird. Like, you never feel the sting. Yeah. You just, like, you get out of the water, and you're covered in red spots. Yeah, it just hurts. It hurt. I had to take a bath. Just because they rub against you. That's weird. Yeah. It's not so, like a bee sting. It isn't like a bee sting. Do they die when they sting you, jellyfish? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think I, I heard I that think jellyfish, jellyfish don't yeah, die. I don't think they do. They just keep going. Yeah, they are the they last prehistoric up. creature to now become prehistoric. They're Is prehistoric? What's up? They're prehistoric? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how can you here's how can you be prehistoric? Because how can you be before history? Good question. <laughs> it's before like the Modern man started. Ah, uh, before we started recording stuff. Yeah. Before we started recording podcasts. Yeah, started, exactly. Before we started writing stuff on the walls. Cavemen didn't have microphones. Yeah. Yeah, scrawling stuff on walls. Yeah. So uh, I took a class on that. Did you? Did you? Prehistoric art. Um, oh, really? Renaissance art. Art history? Yeah. Prehistoric or Renaissance? <coughs> Prehistoric to Renaissance. Oh, two. And then, okay. And then I took Renaissance to Modern. I took Ooh. Renaissance to Modern, well, but yeah, I didn't do the first one. So. Well, you gotta. That's like watching. <laughs> uh, Empire Strikes Back without a new hope, Noah. Well, yeah. what are you doing here? I was a little behind when they started the class because I didn't know what was before. Clearly, you were behind. Uh, you didn't. They learn, made a lot of references. You didn't learn about the pterodactyls. <laughs> they made a lot of references to old stuff, and I was like, "What are you guys talking about? Fill you, me in." You, they 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 started filling you in, and you thought pterodactyl was spelled <laughs> with a T. Yeah, I didn't know there was and a silent looked, P in that yeah. word. 
He looks like a complete fool. <laughs> mm. Back to the matter at hand, jellyfish. Yeah, what's the deal here? I don't know. Like, don't um, we went out. We went out one day, and okay. I mean, there were people swimming, but we saw like a few live jellyfish on the sand, and we were like, "Well, that's enough to know not to probably go in the water," because there was no lifeguard at this beach that we went to. But the other one, wait, so there were live jellyfish on the sand? Yeah, like I've just, never seen that. just washed up jellyfish that were obviously <laughs> swimming so there was just like a jelly like infestation yeah it was like breathing on the sand i was like okay <laughs> not a good idea um but yeah it was weird and like the beaches that had lifeguards like i don't think people were allowed on because the lifeguards were like shooing them away but this one didn't have lifeguards so there's people swimming mm. unfortunately they probably all got stung i feel like that um you know, there's like Jaws is a big uh, movie. Yeah. And like they just had the shallows. Right. And then there's those Piranha movies. The Piranha, Piranha 3D movies. Yeah, Piranha 3D. <laughs> I feel like that could be the next big aquatic horror jellyfish. franchise is Jellyfish. <laughs> we should make it. Let's do it. What do you want to call it? Uh, Like Night of the Living Jellies. Attack of the Jellies. Oh, yeah, Attack of the Jellies. Jelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's make it. Let's kickstart it. It's going up on Indiegogo. Give us your money. Give us your money. That's all I can say. Come on. All right. So you didn't swim at the beach. No. What else? What did you do? I jet skied for the first time. Ooh, daddy. That was fun. Tell me about this jet skiing. Um, I've ridden a jet ski, but I've never uh, driven. Really? I've never. Well, well, it was like two or three years ago I was at the beach. I wasn't 18 yet. Oh, yeah. You so have I to, had to ride with someone. I think you have to have like a, I think you have to have like a license or something. That's license? what I was told. I don't know. I mean, did you have a license? <laughs> yes. Oh, you not, mean not like a, a car ski. license? Yeah, like a driver's license. I thought you meant like a jet ski license. Yeah, I'm like, no. you're telling me everyone. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's a certain age. Maybe it's a license. I'm not really sure. but I was It might vary there. between places. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I've, I've, I've driven a jet You've ski. You've driven? It was yeah. fun, dude. I'm, I'm jelly. On a lake. Yeah, it's fun, right? It was fun. It was a good time. No. I got it up to like 90. I don't know if it's miles per hour. But, it's uh, probably a knots. Knots. Yeah. Knots per hour. <laughs> <Probably> not, <laughs> Aquatic knots. It's probably not miles per hour. Nice. It's, it's knots probably knots uh, twains. But I got to go in pretty fast. It was fun. That's exciting. So that's all you did? You just jet skied around, um, avoiding jellyfish, running over jellyfish with your yeah, jet ski? Pretty much. Yeah. No, I only jet skied like once. They're the roadkill of the sea. We just kind of hung out the whole week. It was good vacation. That's exciting. Good break from reality. Now... You're at Myrtle Beach. Mm-hmm. So this isn't the trip. North, North Myrtle, pretty much. This is not the trip where you meet Weird Al. No. Do you want to hear that story? <laughs> I do want to hear the story. We were talking earlier, and you were telling me it was a great story. Yeah. I told Nick. I've shared this with Nick. Yeah. You were telling you me. You haven't heard it, bitch. I haven't heard it. And yeah. he started telling me that it was a great story, and I was like, well, we're about to record a sweet little podcast. Save it for the pod. It's yes. radio material. Yeah, it's yeah, good radio. Or else you have to like, fake a reaction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> Weird Al. <laughs> we, I am a big Weird Al mm. fan. Um, yeah. I've met him, but I met him after a show. Right. He was uh, he was nice, but mm-hmm. he clearly didn't want to be meeting people. Yeah. He was he was pretty... Understandable. Uh, he was pretty burnt out. He did like an hour and a half of just like nonstop at, mm-hmm. uh, energy. What's going on? Got a little... Oh, we got a casualty on the set of TPC. Sorry yes. about that. He's just like missing a screw. Yeah, that's all right. Is it going to bother you? A few screws loose here. Right? Fine, man. It's just Billy my house. Nice camel show. <laughs> iTunes, YouTube, subscribe. <laughs> Leave a review. All right. Anyways. So you met Weird Al. Yeah, he was in... Um, Love Weird Al. Great performer. So I was in Portsmouth, Virginia with my family. Right. Um, For a separate reason... Than weird weird I was in. What were you in town for? We were there for the uh, annual funeral home convention. All right, <laughs> I, we've talked about these yeah. on the show before. Um, it's a good time. You going to Casket Con? It's a good time. My dad is a funeral home uh, funeral director. He's a, he's a great dad. Manager funeral home. Um, so we were just there. Excellent it was, dad. It was like you know everything's like pretty much paid for for us. So that's great. We just tag along. My dad does business related stuff, and we eat food and stuff. It's that's cool. very exciting. And uh, Weird Al had a show that week in Portsmouth. In the same... How close is this venue? Same oh. town. Like, we could hear the music from the hotels. Really? Faintly. Faintly. Plus, so it was an outside venue. Yeah. It was a it was a pavilion. Okay, gotcha. In Portsmouth. And um, he happened to be staying at the same hotel we were staying at. What are the odds? 
Yeah. I so mean, like, what? What are the odds, really? Like, it was insane. We we left the hotel for dinner, and there was a tour bus. And I was like, "Oh, Weird Al's in town. Maybe it's him." Kind of like jokingly, like, because it didn't look like his. Like, it would be his right, t- actual right. tour bus. And we come back from dinner, and um, this guy gets off the bus and starts walking kind of close to us, mm-hmm. and. Um, one of the guys in our group was like that ate dinner with us was like, "Hey man, are you uh, like with a band or something?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm the sound guy." He's like, "Can you tell us who?" And he's like, "Technically, no." And uh, he totally yeah no he, like that's he, not he, a thing. <laughs> Eventually, was like, I think the guy was like, "You're here with Weird Al, right?" And he's like, "Yeah, you got it." And he's like, "Weird Al's not even staying at this hotel. He's over somewhere else." We're like, "Really?" <laughs> and uh, he was like really trying to be secretive. So you're about listening it. in on this conversation. Yeah, you're not the one asking. No, I was like right next to him. Yeah, and uh, we go inside the hotel into the lobby. The guy that we were talking to goes and sits down at the bar next to obviously band members of Weird Al's band. Okay, and um, yeah, he's had the same band for like yeah. Ever. Like, so we were like, oh, dude, that's his band. That's definitely them. And we sat down in the lobby and just kind of like waiting around to see if he would like walk in eventually. Yeah, and he totally does. Weird Al wearing his, his his classic hat. Amazing. Comes in and goes to the bathroom. He's wearing a fedora, right? Yeah, he's wearing his classic fedora. I want to put it on record. Weird Al's the only guy that can rock a fedora. <laughs> not, uh, not even only guy. Only human that yeah, can rock a fedora. Because I mean, women yeah. can't do it either. Like True. Jason Mraz. Uh, he's not, not doing you're a not good e- job. Jason Mraz is bush <laughs> league over here. Even though I don't I don't like uh, Jason Mraz's fedora, I don't think he looks like an autist, you know? <laughs> he doesn't look like an autistic guy. He just he looks, just looks, looks like kind of like a yeah, right. he looks like a jerk. <laughs> yeah. But Who almost brought in the autism? What's up? Who brought in the autism? Oh, I'm just saying it's like a trope. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is a trope? Yeah. Fedora. Is it, am I, I'm pretty, yeah. Yeah. I no, believe no. you. I just... It's like the, it's like the like official cringe, hat of autism. Yeah. Cringe videos. <laughs> the official hat of autism. <laughs> yeah, honestly. They, they should maybe use that to sell fedoras they might sell more that's true i don't know i don't know if <laughs> or less <laughs> how, are f- less. how are fedora uh companies still in business i don't know like that's really because nobody really should wear them like when you think about it like everyone like wears them once in seventh grade yeah. and then just kind of i mean you know they have good prices at target swag is for like boys classes for men that's all i have to say is that i've never heard that is that a <laughs> noah original no no nah, man I'm a, I'm a white knight fedora wearing <laughs> keyboard warrior. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt that for one second. Yeah, not one hint of hesitation. Anyways, <laughs> Weird Al comes in and goes to the bathroom in the lobby. I was like, dude, I'm going to follow him in there. So I go in, stand right next to him at the urinal. Dope. And as soon as I... See his dick? No, I didn't. Because <laughs> I'm saying that's a story within itself. <laughs> that's a great story. What are we talking here? No, as soon as I... <laughs> As soon as I stand next to him, yeah. he just darts for it. Like he he goes, washes yeah. his hands, and leaves. And um, so then I like go back out to the the hotel lobby, and I I like sat down, and um, I think like my sister was like, "Weird, I was over there, like at the computer." Okay, the computers in the lobby, and he was literally just sitting down at a computer watching like Comedy Bang Bang, like his he, episode. He was watching Comedy Bang Bang. Yeah, it was like his okay. episode, I think. And um, yeah, he's on this whole new season. And I was like, all he's right, the new, he's Reggie Watts' replacement. Are you? Oh, really? I yeah, he's was... in this new season. Uh, Reggie Watts went to. One I thought of the, it was um, one of the late no, shows. Kid Cudi, yeah, right? I thought it was like Kid Cudi or something. Oh, was it? I think yeah. so. I thought it was Weird Al. It might be, be cool. That'd be dope. Anyways, he's watching like Comedy Bang Bang, and I was like, all right, dude, let's go get a picture with my. I told that to my sister, and so yeah, we walk over there, and um, by then I think like two or three other people had already gotten pictures with him. So he was obvious, like pretty clearly. Yeah. He's already done a show at this yeah, point. Yeah. He was, no, no, this was the night before the show. Oh, before the show. Okay. Yeah. But he was pretty clearly like an irritated and he was like trying to like lay low. Yeah. And, um, I was like, Hey man, you're weird out. Let, yeah. let me get a picture. And, uh, I got a picture and I like tried to make conversation and he just like, wasn't responding to me. He was just kind of like looking at me mm. and like nodding. And uh, I was like, well, good luck tomorrow. Uh, see ya. <laughs> nice to meet you. And uh, he just kind of went back to his business. Yeah. And uh, So you didn't try to get anything signed? You no, have, I got um, a picture with him. It was pretty poorly lit. Yeah. And uh, you can see some frustration on his face, but right. he wasn't like a jerk. Yeah. He's just obviously he just, like trying to be. I, he, he's huge. Like I'm sure he gets stopped a lot. Now, yeah. It was fun. Here's the thing. I'm an Al fan. Yeah. I don't want this to come across as... <laughs> Me uh, calling Al out, but 
if you don't want to get recognized, you said he seemed frustrated. Yeah. If you don't want to get recognized, maybe don't watch your <laughs> own show in the lobby. Yeah. Like we, money's no we object to Weird Al. In the lobby. He can get a laptop and watch it in yeah. his room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was interesting to I say agree. the least. You agree? Yeah, man. Good. I'm if I got Nick on my side, I know I'm doing something <laughs> right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but yeah, no. That's the story of how I met old Al Yankovic himself. That's great. I love it. In a hotel. So, any other beach stories? I know you're at the beach. Not really. Uh, it was just uh, just jet skiing and avoiding. Pretty fun week. That's it. Sounds like a pretty mellow, real humdinger. Pretty mellow week. Got to see my grandparents. Yeah, it's always nice. That's exciting. They're still hanging in there. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick, you got anything going on? No, nah, dude. But I have some clips coming up later on. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's go ahead and tease that. Should we we got throw a, in a teaser. A brand new game coming up. It's called Nick Clips. You're gonna learn. So if you've if you've uh, if you're considering turning this off, don't. Yeah. We got a brand new Nick centric game. Yeah, it involves a lot of audio. Yes, it's the entire show is audio. So if you're deaf. And turn on the subtitles. <laughs> if you're turn on the subtitles. If you're deaf, yeah, I'm sure. If you're on YouTube, I guess you could put on some sub subs. Yeah, I don't know if it would work well. This captions clip. don't yeah. always add up. Yeah, we can check. I don't know. We I should check later. Yeah, let's watch it. It probably will have us saying something <laughs> bizarre. Yeah. Like, instead of jellyfish, just like belly <laughs> dish or belly something. Dish. Belly yeah. itch. Belly itch. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was trying to avoid the belly itch. It's like no, <laughs> that's not what we're talking about here. I went to the beach uh, too. It was fun. What beach? Uh, Top Sail nice. in North Carolina. Nice. It's a good time. Um, the key um, thing that I want to talk about from the trip is we went to a turtle hospital. <laughs> really? It was a, yeah, it was a hospital for turtles. And uh, it was kind of cool. Um, but it was also like kind of like strange and like it was the type of thing where uh the whole like purpose of it was to be humane. Yeah. But it kind of seemed like like they were going so far that it was inhumane. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it was like they're trying to rehabilitate turtles and like put them back into the wild. Yeah. So like, I mean, first of all, the idea of doing surgery on a turtle when like other people don't get fixed. <laughs> Like like people get hurt and don't go to the hospital yeah. because they don't have insurance. You know what I mean? It is kind of silly. Like that's silly to me. Um, but there was this like like uh so most of them they're trying to rehabilitate and put them back into the wild. You guys not into this story? No, I am. No, <laughs> I am. Good. Um, they're trying to rehabilitate them and put them back into the wild, but there are like some that are like too hurt to like ever go back into the wild. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, so there was this dude. Were they like, like tortoises? No, they were like deep sea turtles. So it was like, it was like weird. Like, don't those like live to be like a hundred anyways? I think they do. Yeah. But there was like this one that had been there like 10 years and he had like a messed up shoulder. So like he couldn't like go under the water. Oh. <laughs> like, and it was just like, he was kind of looking like, like they were like, yeah, he's too messed up. We'll never put him back into the wild. <laughs> and I was just kind of like, he just gave me this look like. Please kill me. <laughs> like, wait, who's paying for these turtles to be in a hospital? I think it's just like a nonprofit. Like, like it costs money to get in. Yeah. And I think they're not paying the workers. Like, all the money goes to oh, huh. healing the turtles. But it was just the type of thing where uh, they were talking about, yeah, we actually have all of our own facilities. So we, uh, Do like, like, physical therapy. Like, if a turtle gets hurt, turtles? yeah, physical therapy. It's like, if a turtle gets hurt, we don't even have to uh, bring them to the local hospital. And I'm just like, I'm pretty sure if I like keeled over right now, they would not do anything. <laughs> like they wouldn't <laughs> yeah. call the hospital. Well, they're not doctors. I mean, they're they're turtle vets. They're turtle doctors. Turtle vets or whatever. I don't know the first thing about. Is it a specific medicine. turtle vet? I don't know. That's all they do, though. It seems sounds like. It seems like it, but it kind of seems like they're just because it's a volunteer thing. They're not even. Doctors. It kind of seems like they're just volunteers that just like wrap syringes. Wow. Well, not syringes. Wrap a. Wrap turtle. That's interesting. Turtles up. Yeah, it was all right. It was fun, but it was just the type of thing where, like, it seemed like it was m- more about the humans than the turtles. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like turtles, dude. The, oh, turtles are nice. Turtles, are, it's a good, it's a good species. 
Oh, great species. <laughs> but like, I don't think they were tortoises because they said like the difference between like sea turtles and uh, like turtles that you see on the road mm-hmm. or like sea turtles apparently can't retract. Oh, really? Shell. Yeah, they're just kind of. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of pointless having a shell though. <laughs> You know what I mean? Some yeah. turtles are vicious. Is that true? Little snapping, snapping turtles. turtles. Yeah, I guess that's like the only one I can think they get of. Mean. But yeah, they're feisty. Well, there's probably different types of snapping turtles, right? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a turtle expert. Let's Wikipedia this real quick. <laughs> yeah, we we certainly could. Fact check. Yeah, fact check. Yeah, I don't know. It was fun. That's cool. I can't really think of anything else notable was the water nice dude it was actually um it was like pretty warm throughout really? the whole trip that's cool yeah, it was a good time it's been a hot summer i'm not surprised yeah it is uh, except for like literally today's the only day yeah it was like beautiful 60s. I'm, I'm wearing jeans right now it's great yeah but you should go downtown yeah I get a, I, i'm down for a downtown trip after <laughs> after this after the pod sweet little pod um Something we didn't talk about. We talked about the hype for it, but we didn't talk about the actual release. You've been playing Pokemon Go, either Pokemon of you? Pokemon Go, dude. Yeah? Actually, not much. You haven't been? I downloaded it, and I um, I got my starter, and that's about it. Like, I didn't have... I just recently updated my phone, so my 4S or whatever I had before was Doesn't seem like a 4S <clears throat> could run it. It couldn't, and I didn't have enough room to download it. So. Right. So I didn't really... I didn't. I wasn't on the initial Pokemon Go. The bandwagon. Yeah. And then I like and I made an account... It's a bandwagon. I made an account on like a separate device and then finally upgraded my phone. I haven't really played it since. Gotcha. But I downloaded it, and I plan on catching some Pokemon, dude. It's a good time. Nick, uh, you played it a little bit? Yeah, I downloaded that boy. And I played it for a little bit. I guess like level five, maybe. Yeah. Like four or five. And then I just kind of like lost interest. And gotcha. Like, oh, it's just like, you know, I honestly don't really feel like playing it ever. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I, just, no, I just didn't. It's one of these things where I enjoy the game, but I get why you wouldn't. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just like I wouldn't go out of my way to play it. Like yeah. if I'm outside, like I don't really like wouldn't want to play it. I don't, you know. Right, right. That makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. I, um, I'm enjoying it. I think it's fun, but I'm surprised at like how much... Like yeah, the the general public has taken to it. Yeah, I know. Like it's a phenomenon. Yeah, like it's huge. Like I heard, um, Nintendo's stocks raised like a eleven billion. It's crazy dollars the day it was released. It's insane. It's just like I don't know. It's weird. Like people that like last year would make fun of nerds. Yeah. For like talking about Pokemon, are now just like tweeting yeah. pidgey pidgey memes, <laughs> and it's just like it it's it doesn't make much sense to I me. I know it's it's just taking the world by storm. It's insane. Yeah, it sure is. I don't um, know. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I should be like, like, happy about it or annoyed because, like, I, it gets to a point where, Pokemon like, Pokemon hipster. I don't want anyone else. I to liked enjoy Pokemon it. before it was before it was cool. Before it was cool again. Yeah, they have before it was cool. Again. That's true. <laughs> this is the second time Pokemon's like sweeps the nation. Yeah. I don't know. It is annoying. Like people that like have never cared about Pokemon. Like I don't like to be a hipster, but like people who have never cared about Pokemon are just like. Yeah. Acting like they've always been on the bandwagon. Yeah. Just like as a comic, it's like it's it's gone from like if I told a Pokemon joke last year, people would be like, Why are you like what are you doing? Yeah. What and now it's like hacky to talk about Pokemon <laughs> because of Pokemon Go. Yeah, what are you ten? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh have you had any uh interesting, interesting. stories with Pokemon Go? Because I've I've seen some some stuff out there that's pretty crazy. Um Oh, like, um... Just, like, people playing it, like, uh, doing ridiculous stuff playing it. People getting robbed? Have you heard that? Yeah, I heard about... a uh, big thing about somebody got robbed. Yeah. Apparently, um, some <clears throat> chick found a dead body. Oh, I heard about that. Like, she was playing, <laughs> and she, like, found a dead body, like, floating in the water, because <laughs> she was, like, trying to f- catch a Lapras or something. Nice. Uh, Sorry. So, some 20-year-old, uh... Actually, a couple of people. Actually, one guy got shot. This got guy, shot? Yeah, this twenty-year-old dude was like walking, playing Pokemon Go, and someone just shot him in the back. <laughs> well, that's pretty ridiculous. Like, but why? I don't know. Was he like trying to catch a Charizard? <laughs> that's all I know about it. The dude wanted it. <laughs> I don't know. And then this other dude was playing it, and he like walked up to someone who he thought was playing the game. He was like, "Hey, man, what's up?" And then the guy stabbed him in the arm. <laughs> he stabbed him oh in the gosh. arm. I know. That's insane. People are psychos. That's why we don't need Pokemon that's true. Go. <laughs> yeah, it has gotten like kind of out of control. We need like, more churches instead of Pokemon Go. 
Well, most of the churches are pokey stops. So. Yeah. yeah. That's Nintendo's bringing fault. bringing people to church. Yeah, it's trying to like, teach evolution at churches. I heard yeah. that... Um, yeah, what's that about? Evolution did you hear Did you hear this? Uh, somebody called it ghastly at the Holocaust Museum. Yeah, I heard um, the Holocaust Museum like released a press statement and to be like, hey, stop playing Pokemon Go mm-hmm. at the Holocaust yeah, Museum. Yeah, disrespectful. So, like, I don't know. Like, it's gotten out of control. The, the craziest thing I've seen um, with it... Is I was in PetSmart on um the like puppy adoption day. Yeah. And there were kids just like ignoring the dogs because they were like playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> just like this dog is just like this animal is just like begging for love. That's pretty sad. And just like just just like, hey, I don't I don't care. I'm trying to catch a growlith. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's pretty uh pretty sad. It's sad. <laughs> but you know, what can you do? Growlith's pretty important. That's true. So, That's Holocaust true. Museum is pretty bad. What are other inappropriate places to play Pokemon Go? Funerals. Funerals yeah. is pretty bad, yeah. yeah. I think uh, strip club is pretty bad, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's like trying to catch a cloister <laughs> in the middle of a... Nice, man. Nice. Just open your... Oh, sorry. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Open your eyes, man. Look around you. There's some beautiful women dancing for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're trying to catch this Pokemon. Yeah. This retarded shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just throwing the Poke coins. <laughs> Making it rain, fucking your coins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Chernobyl's pretty bad, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if you're even allowed to be there. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> a pokey stop, though. It probably is a pokey stop. Yeah, I'm trying to think. North the Korea. parks are kind of weird, too, if you're an adult. Dude, the parks have been, like, crowded, though. Yeah. Because yeah. Actually, not too weird. I don't know. I just I always think of, like, some, like, 50-year-old dude, like, just, like, playing, I don't know, playing a kid's game around kids. There are, like, yeah... But never mind. That's just me trying to be a... Uh, no, I think you're right, though. I think they do need to worry about... Uh, some pedos. Some, some pedos jumping on this. Some, uh... Yeah. Some pedos. Pedo bear. Yeah, putting a lure module. Yeah. <laughs> putting a lure module on their house. <laughs> you know about the lure module, Noah? What's that? It's like this thing you can put in a Pokestop. Nice. It, lure. it lures Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. And it lures children. <laughs> also, do we have any sponsors for today's show or not? Pokemon Go. Niantic. Pokemon Go. Pokemon yeah, Go. Yeah, thanks to folks over Niantic. Niantic. No, um, we don't have any sponsors. Uh, do you have a sponsor that you'd like to throw out there? I don't know. Yeah, we could throw out some Domino's Pizza. That would be cool sponsor. Domino's Pizza. That'd be a great sponsor. Um, I don't think they sponsor us. Natty Bo. Directly. So it's, on the table. it's on the table today. Yeah, exactly. If you guys are enjoying a nice barbecue, maybe uh, crack open a Natty Bow, you know? Why not? Yeah, exactly. When I'm, all I need is... Or a Hawaiian punch. Yeah. <laughs> Hawaiian punch. Yeah. Or also some Kool-Aid, maybe. Kool-Aid man. Or Tang. You guys like Tang? Yeah, dude, tang, is, <laughs> tang is amazing. Those would all be good <laughs> sponsors. We should get some, get some deals going. Yeah. I think I'd be into it. Um... Was a, I was thinking about topics recently because we used to we used to do topics every yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Now we just kind of <clears throat> shoot the shit. You know what I'm saying? It works. It's a good format. It works. It's a it's it's a decent format. I was trying to think of a classic topic we hadn't done. Yeah. You know what um, is a classic topic that I I don't think we've ever touched. What's that? And correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. But I don't think we've ever uh, rubbed this one out. If it's Pokemon oh, yeah. Go, then. Uh we just talked about it. So. Did we just talk about Pokemon we did. Go? Ah, well, that was it. So, <laughs> now um, we've never uh, talked about what you would do if you come across a genie. Have we? Oh, I think we have. Have we? I think we have. Yeah. If you had three wishes, what would you wish for? Yeah. Mm. Or one wish, even. Well, see, one wish is really different from three wishes. More wishes. Just ask for more wishes. <sighs> can't out. Uh, can't be that guy. <laughs> I feel like that's the first rule is you can't. I think it is, yeah. Ask for more. We can't bring somebody back to life. All right. Well, at risk of repeating ourselves, we're doing this stuff. Let's do it. So let's do one by one. Okay. Okay. Are we doing one wish or three wishes? Three wishes. It's a genie. Mm -hmm. You know about genies? Oh, I know. (laughs) Genies don't give you one wish. Some of them do one. Yeah. (laughs) What genies are you, are you thinking about now? Yeah, what genies? There's is? some genies do one wish. I don't I've know. Never, it's just, it's like, I don't make. This, I'm not making this up. <laughs> right. some, some do. Wikipedia right now. I've never encountered a genie. That's the end of the statement. I've never <laughs> encountered a genie. Would. But if I had, I'm 50% sure he would give me one wish. No, he'd give you three. 
Have you ever read a Genie Lore? Yeah. You gotta read the Genie Expanded Dude, Universe. Noah, you look Let so... me throw that question right back at you. <laughs> Have you ever read Genie Lore? I'm a big Robin Williams fan. And killed it as Genie. Yeah, he did Latin kill it. <laughs> series. Yeah. So Genie. Mm-hmm. What's your first wish? It's a good question. Um I would probably um, wish, probably like wish to know what I wanted. Yep. Oh, just like something like that. That's a waste of a wish. <laughs> like, what are you? I doing mean, because then I can like really get the most out of my next two, or just ask for like smarts. I think ask for for smarts for some brains, <laughs> for wisdom, That's a wisdom. Yeah. I'll ask for smarts. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna just give you a pack of smarties. Little genie for smarties. Yeah. I want to get. Oh, it's not bad. Go ahead. No, sorry. I was gonna get rid of all three of mine at once because they're pretty simple. Okay. Yeah, actually, not really simple. Knock them out. Let's hear it, baby. Actually, uh, cure for cancer would be nice, you know. Ooh, uh-huh. I like that. So that selfless. Well, not selfless. I'm saying for us too. You know, what I'm saying if any of us get, ever get cancer, I'm I think saying, be, like, yeah. that's true. Just like, for, just like you know, it would help a lot just of people. Just a one shot remedy. Yeah, it would help like everybody. You know. Yeah. Uh, it'd be nice to have. Uh, Find a good woman to settle down with, have a wife, and, yeah. and nice. ha- help happy, healthy family. And I don't think you can wish for love. I think that's one of the rules. Uh, well, I mean, this is man. I need to <laughs> revise. That was one of the rules in Aladdin, but <coughs> yeah. Dude, if you actually read the Aladdin story, it's pretty messed up. Like he he just like wishes to like be rich and then just buys Jasmine. Yeah, pretty much. Did you know that? <laughs> just purchases Nights Jasmine. Nights of Arabia. Yeah, classic. Uh, it is classic, classic stuff. And uh, Open Sesame. enough money to get by and be happy. Yeah. I would wish for the genie's freedom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, that's the third wish. The I wish they would be free. Now, Selfless. I think the first <laughs> wish you got to go with is endless funds. Okay, yeah, sure. You know what I mean? Just um, a huge amount of wealth. Yeah, like I don't need to actually see my bank account. I don't need nice. to. Just, just endless funds. Yeah. You know what I mean? Be nice. Um,. I think the second one you got to go with is uh, teleportation. Be sweet. <laughs> you know what I'm nice. saying? Power. Yeah. Because then you get superpowers. Super. Yeah. What superpower are you going with? <laughs> all of them. What, I mean, you got a genie. You can. You just, just say you want genie. all the powers. Can I be a genie. <laughs> but there are some powers you yeah. don't want, right? <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Like, what's a what's a terrible power? Like um. I don't know. No, you can like create like Maybe you do want all of them. <laughs> you can like like uh create like a DVD of uh like this, uh, what's that movie? What's that movie? Um Top Gun? No, no, it's like Kevin James or like Oh Grown Ups Too. Oh, grown Ups <laughs> like too. all you can do is that's, like, that's the only power. You just like can reproduce a copy, copy of yeah. you know, Grown Ups Two on DVD. Too. I actually changed uh my genie answer. <laughs> I I want a uh, tub of Grown Ups Two DVDs <laughs> that I can grown jump into like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> What'd you say? I want it on Blu-ray from, from, so I can watch it with my kids. All right, let's not get greedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grown Ups 2 is uh, probably Kevin James' magnum opus. Yeah. Do you think? Dude, I hate Kevin James, man. I thought he was funny in King of Queens, but... He's hilarious in King of Queens, but he really went off the rails. King of Queens is a great show. What What do you not like of his? Like, um, he's in Pixels. I haven't seen Pixels, but I heard it's garbage. I heard Pixels is garbage, but... Um, I'm kind of sick of him being a, being a fat retard <laughs> on, on TV. Uh, in That's movies. fair. That is kind of a shtick as fat retard. <laughs> Dude, they should make, because um, they, they've done like Mall Cop, like Mall Cop 2, Grown Ups. They should just make a movie called Fat Retard. <laughs> it's like Kevin James is fat retard. Yeah. yeah. That'd be, I'd watch it. Would you watch it? I'd ask the genie. That'd be my third wish. <laughs> it's to, like, to I watch the movie Kevin in theaters. James. IMAX. Yeah. Oh, IMAX. That'd be great. I also like it for a Netflix account. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. I'd love to have Netflix. <laughs> I Please. Think, well, I was going to say, I think with the teleportation, you you want, I'll say, just the three of us to have it. Mm-hmm. Maybe a few other okay. friends. But I don't want the whole world to have teleportation. No. So what's the point? That'd be horrible, yeah. right? Like everyone could constantly be in. That'd be crazy. Imagine that. Like you're just like talking to someone, and uh, they just decide to like take a business trip. You know? Yeah. Here we go. I'd love it. I'd like to be able to freeze time. 
Oh, and I'd like. What to, are you doing if you can freeze time? Whatever I want. Nobody would know. <laughs> <laughs> Could uh, rob a store? <laughs> yeah. Could uh, I don't know. I mean, you could live your whole life and then unfreeze time and then still have time. Yeah, like the Bon Jovi commercial. That's yeah. the power to turn back time. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one? Yeah, those are, those are great. just hilarious. Those are great uh, commercials. Just hilarious commercials. Oh, yeah. So not a big Kevin James boy? Nah, I hate him. All right. <laughs> Mall Cop didn't do anything for Mall Cop's no. good, dude. I, like I know movie. you like Mall Cop. Yeah, you I have, have two copies. I have two copies on DVD. Do you? Yo, why yeah. do you have two copies? Uh, I got one in a white elephant uh, Christmas exchange. <laughs> yeah, it's a great gift. And I, yeah, it's sealed. If anyone's interested, purchasing it's gonna go up me. in value yeah. soon. It's gonna go up in value. <laughs> CIB, <laughs> it's complete in box. Probably yeah. will go up in value if you signed it, Nick. Yeah, maybe. If you got Kev to yeah, sign dude, it. If I become biggest PewDiePie on YouTube. Yeah, PewDie. Beauty no one can touch Pewds. <laughs> yeah, dude. No one can touch him or his 47 million subscribers. It's too many. It's not, it's bro fist. What's that? Bro fist. You know? Bro fist? That's the thing he does. He's like, oh, okay. Beauty Pie bro fist. It's like a signature. Do people still watch Beauty Pie videos? I think so. He was on South Park. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was. <laughs> Except that was like, what, 10 years ago? I think it was uh, 84. <laughs> Back in 84. So the third thing I think. <coughs> um, you have to wish for is the law doesn't apply to you. That's yeah. That's <laughs> you know what I mean. I would. That'd be nice. Because it's not even that I want to do some heinous like <laughs> crime. You know what I mean. I mean you do. I do, but it's just for soundness of mind. You know. Right. I want to get in a car and just go as fast as I want. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe I get in a fight. Maybe I accidentally kill someone. Yeah. I want to know that I'm not getting locked away. <laughs> and if you have endless funds. You can buy the family a nice mansion. You can throw that guy you accidentally killed a dope funeral. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a fun fun roll. Yeah. <laughs> that should be the slogan for your dad's uh for your dad's uh funeral home. We put the fun in we funeral. We put the fun in funeral. Oh no. <laughs> or if you had endless funds, you could like on the street and if someone asks for like some spare you know some spare change yeah you can like pull out a hundred dollar bill and be like hey you want this and yeah just, just drop a million you know, set it on fire and they'll be, they'll be like they'll be like fuck you man and you'll be like just kidding dude and you like pull out like two hundreds and give it to him be like just wanted to do that dude that's exactly right i like the way you think yeah just like yeah just for giggles dude yeah dude first they're sweet yeah. they're, or first they're sour and then they're sweet yeah exactly sour patch kids sour approach patch kid yeah in real life just well that's actually that's sweet then sour though if so you're so if so you're taking out money and then lighting no, it on no, fire. No, 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 sour. No, no, you take it out and then you give them it's more sweet, money. Then, then you sour. give them oh, okay, the money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? More yeah. sweet. What'd you say? It's sweet, then sour, then more sweet. Okay. You know I, mean? I don't think that's the slogan, but... Yeah, but that's what... <laughs> like, hey, here's a $100 bill. Yeah. And First you, you pull out some Monopoly money, <laughs> throw that their way. <laughs> then you light them on fire and then pay for their hospital bills and then give them a free ride to the university of their choice. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh, I'm going to take a little bathroom break. Sounds good. All right. And then we're going to we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna, when we come back, we're going to do some outro music. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to get into some Nick Clips. Oh, baby, I'll get it ready. Dude, I'm very excited for Nick Clips. <laughs> All right. Give us an outro now. All right, that music can only mean one thing. It means it's time to play the world's hottest game show, Nick, Nick Clips. Clips. While Nick's pulling up the clips, I'll explain the rules. So Nick has, how many clips do you have? Four, five? I've got, I've got three. Three? Yeah, I've got three. Okay, three's good. Um, three's company. Three's company, okay. <laughs> so Noah and I will be competing against yeah. each other. Um, Nick has uh, three clips here today. Yeah. And uh, we don't know what they are. We're going to have to guess what they are. This game might be too hard, so we might have to add the rule <laughs> where we get questions about the clips. 
Um, we'll see. We'll see. But it's an exciting game. This is Nick's first segment on the show, other than just being on the show. Yeah. Noah, Noah you're going to need a game after this. I guess so. Because I got pages, believe it yeah. or not. Nick Clips. We got Nick Clips. You brought Make It or Break It to the table, but... Uh, was that me? I think so. Who else would have? Was it Noah Classic? I yeah. thought Daniel suggested that game. He might have. No. I think I did. Okay. Yeah. Did. But... I'll claim it. I'll well, own that. If we'll if, if it's that. gonna be your game, then we need to call it something different. I didn't come up with it. Okay. So, I mean, that's a classic. That's we a need to come back. up with it. Yeah, it, we'll, we'll bring deep in the archives. Break it back. Uh, next time we get Winston in here, we'll play Ooh, with him because he's idea. never good been call. in the hot seat. Okay. But this is Nick Clips, all right? Nick clips. All right. So I'm gonna First play. I'm gonna Nick play a clip. Yeah, I'm gonna play a clip for you guys, and you guys are gonna have to guess what it is. All right. Okay. <laughs> The whole clip. Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. Noah, you want to guess first? Is it Aslan the Lion? Nah, sorry, dude. <laughs> Way off base. No, no, you're on, you're on the on the right track. Is it a mountain lion? I mean, well, you don't I get guess. two guesses. I guess. I was the first one was sarcastic. <laughs> okay, right. okay, what was it? The guess is mountain lion. Yeah, you're right. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Sweet. I was going to guess a cougar. Oh, not... that's right, too. Oh, it is? Yeah. Are they the same thing? Yeah. Uh, the title on the YouTube says a uh, cougar mountain lion. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to guess yeah. a cougar, not an older woman, cool. but some form of mountain lion. <laughs> nice. Okay, so... I guess that's that's Noah's point. I'll guess. Oh well, yeah, but you got Cougar, and it was they were both in the name, so we can go. All right, we'll t- we'll both take it. Since there's three of them, then um, one of them can be a tiebreaker. Sure. You know what I mean? If we tie. And if we tie, and that's just how Nick pick Nick picks go. Nick picks is a fickle bitch. <laughs> Nick clips. I keep I call it Nick picks. It's Nick, Nick clips. I'd like to see a Nick pick. Someone suggested that I call it Nick Tunes, and I was like, they're not necessarily songs. Right. <laughs> Some of them are mountain lion <laughs> clips. <laughs> yeah. Mountain lion. When I but Nick Tunes is a solid name. Yeah. All right, guys, here's uh, another clip. <laughs> I'm very familiar with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, what do you guys think? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess uh, it's a woman crying, maybe a housewife who's been uh, who's been whose husband has been unfaithful. Um, yeah. Well, it's. It. All right. I'll let Noah <laughs> let Noah put in his answer. My guess is um, it's also a woman crying, but I think it's something a little bit more. It's not. It's not infidelity. I think it's. Um. I think it's a mistress who has found out that she is the mistress. Oh, okay. She, she thought that she was being wind and dine, right. but she's actually just he's a call married. Girl. Yeah. Well, you guys could have cut that other bullshit at the end. It's just a female <laughs> crying. Yeah. <laughs> two for two. Two, <laughs> two for, for two. two. Yeah. I need to come up with some harder clips. <laughs> All right. Here's my here's my last clip, this guys. This is a great game, though. <laughs> here's my last clip. Text messed that one up. Hmm. What you got, guys. Noah? I think I know. I'm gonna say it's Donald Duck laughing. <sighs> what i was gonna say too. Right. oh was that what you're gonna say is that a donald duck laugh that's a snoopy laugh oh it's snoopy okay whoa it did sound see that was a I swerve can, there yeah, it's a, it's a little you don't snoopy. hear him laugh that often i yeah. mean it's every now and then no you, you're right now that you say that i do recognize that as a snoopy laugh but it's a classic snoopy, snoopy laugh it's oh i would have said snoopy. donald duck all day so i did you be, got me friend you'd be wrong every time <laughs> yeah it's a snoopy laugh well that's the way the cookie crumbles <laughs> 
<laughs> in Nick clips. You wanna you wanna outro it with it was the a tie music. Yeah, I guess it was a tie, but we both lost. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody yep. wins. Nobody in wins clips. in Nick clips. Yeah, there is no. Whoa. Maybe whoa, in the whoa, future, whoa. Snoopy. The Snoopy was a good swerve. That was a good one, Nick. Thanks. Snoopy was a good swerve. Yeah. But I think in the future... I went with a generic mountain lion, you know? Yeah. A generic female crying, but... It might be tougher if you get um more specific clips. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's true. Get some licensed yeah, I'm not, clips. I don't want to tell you how to run your no, game. Dude, can we say this critique for after the show? <laughs> You're making me look like an idiot. Well, you know, there's room for improvement. Oh, man. It's always, a great game, though. Always room to improve. Oh, man. If we work out the kinks, I think... I think NBC is going to be knocking. <laughs> Dude, don't air this episode. All right. Well, let me... Outro the show too. So I got an idea for a segment. For a segment, it's called Noah's Sound Bites. Well, I don't know. You got some sound bites. That sounds derivative. <laughs> you gotta guess where they're from. It sounds derivative. Uh, I don't know. It might work. We do need to think of a game for you though. We'll come up with something. You know, well, we got pages. Believe it or not, right. you're aware of that game. I, I know that game. I remember. Um, we got Nick clips. You got any ideas? Maybe like guess that Queen lyric. We can just like recite lyrics from Queen songs. Ooh, but it's got to have your name in it somewhere. <laughs> guess that Queen lyric. No, no one's going to no guess. One. I don't know. We'll find it. We'll, f- we'll figure it out. This is more of an off mic conversation, I think. All right. All right. Last thing I want to talk about. Nick Clips. Great segment. I love it. Thanks, bitch. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You're always welcome at the table. Dude. Even though I'm at your table yeah, right dude. now, yeah, dude, this is it's a good table. It doesn't even feel like my house yet. It's, it's like, or it doesn't feel like home yet. It's my yeah, it's not broken in. You need to enough. get some pictures of some dames in here. Get some posters, calendars, calendar girls. I have a sweet 2012 Naruto calendar. If you want to, you know, buy that off of me. Very so I don't do anime, dude. Well. Anime is pretty G A Y, dude. Get some pinups. <laughs> get some pinups over here. Yeah, dude. Keep it classy, dude. 1950s only. I only do 1950. <laughs> 1952 to 1958 dude. are the golden years for pinups. Yeah, like the 50s, like, uh, style of woman. Oh, my God. I have a, I have a DC pinup calendar. Yeah? It's pretty the nice. I think shells? you'd like... I th- yeah, the bombshells. I think I've seen... Um, it was, they, like, mailed to me for some reason. Well, but, they did uh, a uh, series of variants totally worth with it. DC bombshells. That's I cool. I didn't know there was a calendar. Yeah, there's a calendar. Who's your favorite... Uh, oh, do you mind? No, go ahead. Who's your favorite... Uh, 50s bombshell. Ooh. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I know specific names. Is Do you got one? Aunt B considered a... Oh, dude. Aunt B. Dude, Aunt B, man. Aunt from B is a dude, fox. From Andy Griffith uh, lore. A, a that, silver fox, <laughs> if you will. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, Alice from uh, Brady Bunch, dude. Housekeeper. Dude, Alice. Ooh, that's not bad. <laughs> nice. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah. I always liked... Um, this 50s or 60s i always liked the chick that played Catwoman in the oh yeah in the batman her name what's her name i don't know um, but i always thought she was a did she like die recently maybe have you guys seen a not in my <laughs> imagination she's easy on the eyes that's for sure <laughs> have you guys seen jane mansfield before no yeah i think so it sounds like a perfect uh thing to see on an audio only show <laughs> yeah Dude, she was a uh, is this thing on? <laughs> yeah, is this thing on, dude? Nice. Okay. She looks like... um. Oh, James Manfield? She looks That's like her Marilyn name? Monroe. Yeah. She probably was a Manfield. She probably was... I'm not going to say that. All I'm going to say is that uh, all, <laughs> all the women in the 50s look the same. That's kind of true. The, Very there homogenous. Some Manfields that got killed. Dames. What's up? Were there some Manfields that got murdered? I think that's the Hatfields and the yeah. McCoys. And the oh, McCoys, okay. dude. <laughs> Big rivalry, dude. Forgive me. Huge rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest rivalry of them all, man. That's a good Minus, closing topic. Um, rivalries? rivalries? Rivalries. We've never done rivalries. Solid, Nick. So we got Hatfields and McCoys established. Mm-hmm. What are some of your favorite rivalries? I would say um, Gary Oak and... Avatar <laughs> character from <laughs> Pokemon games. Yeah. Just, yeah, trainer. 
I guess it's a trainer. trainer. Yeah, that's solid. Uh, Def- I mean, default trainer. Probably the biggest one. You got God v Devil. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty big rival. G- GVS, dude. You know what I mean? That one runs. You know, that one runs deep. That yeah, that's a tale as old as time. Is mm. rips the fabric of time, dude. Yeah, exactly. Devils over here trying to tempt God to eat stones. <laughs> <laughs> You remember that parable? That yeah. Was a parable? I mean, it happened. Did it happen? Yeah. That wasn't a parable, dude. Okay. Freshen up, dude. <laughs> so, um, all right. Other rivalries. You're thinking of the prodigal son, dude. That's a parable? Yeah, I know. I know what a parable is. Uh, one v one me, dude. What, what if what? <laughs> I said one v one me, dude. Dude, classic rivalry. Nick Pacinino, <laughs> Page Page. Yeah. The Nick Page rivalry. He's trying to turn this into the Nick Pacinino show. Dude, uh, yeah, you give me an inch, you know, which is the Nick Clips. You know, I'll try to take the entire show. Yeah, you give him, you give him a inch, he'll take a mile. Yeah, that's how Nick operates. Let's say, um, <laughs> who, who else? What are some, uh, what are some good rivalries out there? Uh, I mean, you got Batman, Joker, Batman, Joker, classic. Superman, Mister Mixing <laughs> Place. I would say Superman, uh, Brainiac. Before I would say that. <laughs> That's, it's Lex Luthor, everybody. Yeah, Lex Luthor. All right in. The phones are lighting up over here. You got, you got my boy Spider Man and the, the Green Goblin. It's mm, a good it's one. Good one. Good, good, good pool. Good pool. Dude, I think I'm gonna go with a uh, Oasis and Blur. Dude, Brit- <laughs> <laughs> Britpop. Nineties Britpop battle, dude. Now I'm gonna go abstract here. Radiohead and Coldplay. <laughs> I'm gonna go abstract here. It is a rivalry. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm talking Coke Pepsi. Tupac and Biggie. Ooh. You see it like that? Coke Pepsi? Ooh. It's a rivalry. Biggie and Tupac. Is that a is that a thing? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thug Life. Meek Mill and Drake. Oh yeah. Did you hear about a uh, Drake uh, uh challenged uh Drake challenged uh Eminem. Uh, Eminem. I did hear about to that. a rap battle. Dude, Eminem's gonna wipe the floor with Eminem Drake. is a legend. Dude, Eminem's a good I don't even rapper. know that much about rap, but I know that Eminem is. And let me be frank. Eminem's and Skittles. Drake? <laughs> that's a, that's Drake, a that's a rivalry. Uh, room for improvement. Eminem's and Skittles is a classic. That's dude. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, chocolate and peanut butter. Just kidding. They're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dude, um, McDonald's Burger King. Yeah, that's a good one, especially when they're like right across the street from each other. Mm. Korea, uh, Korea and Japan. North Korea. Every, yeah, every, that's true. Everyone else. Yeah. 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 Just, uh, just, Germany just, and Israel. Classic rivalry. Mm-hmm. See, just for the record, I'm Team Korea. U.S. communism. What's that? So I'm, I'm Team Korea. Just You're Team record. Korea. South yeah. Korea. I hope. Yeah, versus Japan, dude. Okay. North Korea is uh. Well, that's where old Kim Kim is. Korea didn't invent anime, so I think I know who I'm siding with. <laughs> but they created K-pop. <laughs> True, man. Oh, you it's, it's, like, it's like, man, you got my favorite shows and my favorite Gee music. whiz. <laughs> you think we get uh, old Kimmy on the show? Maybe. You think, you think Kim Jong Un would do an we exclusive? Could give him a phone call. It'd be like the interview, oh. but it'd be real life. I hate to butt in, but. Uh, What's that? We could do a little bit of a prank phone call. Oh, I like show. where your head's at. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, who should we call? I like how you guys mentioned uh, McDonald's and Burger King. Maybe we could uh, hit one of them up. Sure. All right. All right, <laughs> Nick. I think you're the master here, so yeah. I don't have much data, so I can't look up numbers. But uh, okay. and that's not an excuse; it's truth. This could <laughs> <laughs> it Apple is an excuse, versus, but it's a true excuse. Apple versus Android. Ooh, that's not bad. I think one of my uh, favorite rivalries. Nick is Jonas versus. We're talking diabetes. Mario Sonic. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one, Mario and Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the uh, Rio Olympics, oh, we get a Mario Sonic Rio. Yeah, I think they're coming out with that. I think so. All right, guys, who are we calling? McDonald's. McDonald's. All right. Yeah, we can call McDonald's. Um, Let's hear it. And uh, does anyone? Would anyone like to be the roast master? I'm not feeling very frisky today. Let me see. All right. I don't know. I don't know what's a good line. All right. Now what I'm gonna do. I'm going to mute Nick and I's microphones. So the laughter can't be heard. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. Um, 
comes out. Come on, Ron. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. I'd have to. One of my uh, favorite prank calls was when Nick was, uh, we were all just hanging out, and Nick was calling uh, Waffle House and just asking uh, if their like trainer was carrying experience share. <laughs> you oh, yeah. that? That's a good one. That's solid, yeah. Am I on, guys? Is he muted? <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Uh, do you guys deliver? I'm sorry? Do you guys deliver? Uh, yes. We, we don't go so far. No, do you guys deliver? I'm, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was wondering if you deliver there. Drop call. They dropped it. He didn't even engage you. <laughs> yeah. It didn't sound like you could Man, hear this you. Was, can we cut this out of the show? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good, this wasn't much of a segment. It was a good prank. <laughs> Classic rivalry, Nick <laughs> Pitanino versus McDonald's. Yeah, man. Brown versus Board of Education. Oh, that is... <laughs> that, a, uh, Classic rivalry. <laughs> that is a great rivalry. Pretty deep-seated rivalry right there. Dude, huge rivalry. <laughs> Dude, what you got, dude? Uh, what, what about a sex shop? <laughs> dude, that's a good That'd idea. Be a funny, uh, Wait, can yeah. I get Trinity Glass and Tobacco on yeah. the line? Local. Um, yeah, just, I wonder if you guys carry bongs. Yeah, just ask them that. Just see what they say because they're bong. not allowed to. Even they sell bongs and they sell bowls, but they're not legally allowed to. Yeah, say which that. is funny because like gross. that's literally all they Are sell. They? Dude, a sex shop is a good idea. Um, just be like, hey. uh... You want, to do, you want me to do this one? <coughs> yeah. What's that? Yeah, dude, this is ultimate bliss. Ultimate bliss. I'm gonna laugh, but we're calling yeah. ultimate bliss here. Uh, hi, is this Ultimate Bliss? Um, I was in there the other week, and uh, uh, I bought one of Uncle Jack's uh, double-sized dildos. And um, it got stuck in my uh, boyfriend's rectum. Is there any way to uh, rectify that? No pun intended. Like, is there... What's that? You have to go to the hospital. The hospital? But it, see, the problem with the hospital is it's a little, you know, embarrassing. So I was wondering if there was any uh, type of, like... There definitely be no other way you have to go to the hospital. I was just wondering if there was any type of, uh, like, wrench, maybe, that you guys sell, or, like, like a lubed-up wrench that I could get to, to get that thing out of there. You know what I mean? Because it's still on vibrate is the problem. What's that? The doctor? Yep. But see, it's just embarrassing, you understand? Like, what What if this was your boyfriend? All right, well, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> That was nice. Not that really came of it, but <laughs> well executed prank. Classic. It was all right. It I was hard. It. Uh, it's hard not to laugh. Yeah, I know. I was afraid. I was ready to break out on that one because that was pretty. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah, I'm surprised they, you know, answered. I just made up a brand too. Like, I'm surprised, <laughs> she, I'm surprised she didn't know that that was not. Well, it's real. not like she checks inventory. <laughs> yeah, like Uncle Jack sounds like a real <laughs> dildo brand. 
All right, well. That's the show? Yeah. That's a wrap, buddy. What'd you think? I, I enjoyed it. Yeah? Yeah. I think we should uh, prank call a different sex shop every show. That Dude, the cool. sex shop uh, prank call is not, not a bad um, idea. One of my favorite... Uh, it's it's kind of a prank call. It's just kind of a, also just like an awkward thing to do, which I like. You call someone on your iPhone. Mm-hmm. Androids might be able to do it too, but you hit conference call. Oh yeah, and yeah, you just yeah. attach someone else that barely knows that person, and you just try to hold a conversation. <laughs> Put an awkward conference call together. We it's did classic. it once on the show, and it didn't really work. But cool. yeah, it yeah, wasn't. It was, it was like shatty, and I called um. Matt Royals. Oh yeah, and then we tried calling like Ben Callison. <laughs> two, but Ben didn't answer. Two people that just don't. They, they don't they, it's not even that they don't like each other; they just don't know each other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like they might be acquaintances, but that's all there is to it. Yeah, it's funny, funny idea. Solid call on the prank call, Nick. Good stuff. Appreciate it. No problem, dude. I enjoy it. All right, guys. Well, that's the show. Thank you for listening. That was the Paige Campbell Show episode. 44 in the wraps hopefully we'll be able to get more shows in the future for you i know there's delays we're getting close to 50 it is true uh, i want to do something big for 50 but i don't know what something we'll figure it out to get some guests on the show dude yeah some surprise guests some huge guests <laughs> play make it or break it dude make it or break it is a great game would you rather get some games on here would you rather we've done a lot of games in a while yeah that's true oh uh, yeah games are fun we'll bring those back I know you guys like games. <laughs> I gotta come up with one of my own. Like, subscribe, share the video. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a comment? <laughs> Absolutely. Comments are leave, welcome. Leave a topic. If there's something you want to hear us talk about, leave a topic. Um, if you're on iTunes, leave a review. Give us a good review, preferably. Do you have a catchphrase? It's like, as always. Subscribe. <laughs> There's on. no catchphrase. There's no catchphrase. Nick, if you come up with a catchphrase, I'll I'll use it. Keep it. Um, it's not keep it crispy. <laughs> keep it. I know that's. <laughs> keep it original recipe. Keep, keep it grilled. <laughs> keep it grilled. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Right. Yeah. Uh, I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>